Hey guys, I know we have a lot of people out today, so I wanted to make sure that I um, provided you guys with instructions, and um, I'm going to be out on Monday, so uh, I wanted you to be able to go back and get the information since I won't be here to answer questions. So um, to start out our research project, that's what we are doing on Friday, uh, December 6th, and we're going to continue on Monday, December 9th. So if you... Um, if you weren't here to get all of the information, then tune in to this. Uh, if you just don't remember and you need a refresher, you can tune into this as well. Okay, so to start out class today, you need to uh, go to the link that is on the calendar for Friday. So that's right here, and it's also available on the calendar for Monday. So the same links are going to be present on both days. It's these research links. So if you'll click that, it's going to take you to the website. On the website, you'll see um, that it starts out with your research notes packet. Everybody is going to receive uh, a copy of this, a paper copy, so you will have one. Um, it has some instructions on it that you can read through. It also has uh, your research note template that you're going to be going through um, while you're doing your actual research for the topic that you're assigned. Okay, uh, so that leads me to um, everybody is going to be assigned a specific topic that has to do with um, our space program, uh, things that have been important or that still are important to our space program and NASA. So when you're on the website, you will see that there are these different links for the different topics. You uh, are each being assigned a specific topic that you're going to be researching. Um, if you were here on Friday, then you received that from me and you know what you're researching. If you were not here on Friday and you didn't come in for tutoring or Cub Academy, I have left a list with your substitute and she is, um, she is aware of which uh, topics to assign you. Okay. At the top of the website, you will see um, it says MLA Works Cited Page Requirements. You are going to be citing your sources. However, we're going to be working on that next week, so that's not something that, that you need to do on Friday or on Monday in class. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and um, use uh, the Apollo program as the example today so that um, – for, for our purposes for this video. So let's say that I was assigned number two. I am researching the Apollo program. I am going to go onto this website and I'm going to click that link. So each individual topic has an individual website that I've built for you guys. You'll see that there are some instructions right here um, telling you what to do, but I'm going to detail those for you as well. Um, if you look down below, there are some links, these buttons that I've created for you. Those are pre-approved sources that you are allowed to use for your project. Um, there's no reason that you should have to go on any additional sources. Uh, these are all sources that are really, really good that have lots of information, um, you do have to use a minimum of three resources. So some of you have, um, have three resources. Some of you have more resources than that, just depending on how many articles were on the database um, or how many suggested articles that those databases gave me. I provided those for you. You'll also see, for example, the first link here says that I found it on the Gale Research Database. Um, if you haven't recently logged into the database, then when you click the link, it's going to make you sign in. So I have made sure that I've included the usernames and passwords, login inf information for uh, both the databases that you are allowed to use on um, your research. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, the first one here is going to take you to the Gale Research Database. Now, I've logged in recently, so I didn't have to put in any credentials. Uh, and notice it took me straight to the article that you're going to be able to use for your research. There's lots of good information here. Notice, too, that it is going to cite this for me, and you're going to use those citations later, um, but you aren't going to need those today. Okay, um, so you are going to be filling out your research packet using these specific websites that are provided for you. Not all of them are database websites. Some of them are suggested websites that the database provided for me. Um, most of you have NASA as a website. So when you go to NASA, you'll see um, 
then it gives you some information. But you'll also see at the top, uh, there's a menu bar here and you are, are free to go and you can click on any of the things that are provided within that topic that, um, that you've been assigned and that you're linked to, okay? So again, these are the on, only approved resources for you to use um, and you're gonna go through and uh, for Friday and Monday, you're gonna work towards filling out um, your packet. So let me talk to you a little bit about your packet. Again, on the front, you've just got some instructions that tell you what you are being tasked with. Ultimately, you are going to use the information that you're researching to create a five-paragraph essay. Um, you guys have done that before, especially in seventh grade, gone through the whole writing process. Um, the twist today and in this project is you're going to have to be writing using some specific text structures. So you have the option of using a couple of different text structures. Um, if you notice this part right here, um, gives you some information about that. It says all essays will begin with a descriptive text structure for body paragraph number one. And then you will have the choice of which text structure you would like to use for body paragraphs number two and number three. Um, you have to use two different text structures in those paragraphs. The text structures that you can choose between are cause and effect, sequential order, and problem and solution. I think that when you go through and look at your research uh, packet, you're going to see that I have it laid out for you um, to make those text structures really um, easy for you. So let's explore that together. So the very first body paragraph in your essay is going to be a description. And so you can see how I have it laid out on, um, on this page is you are going to find just foundational information about your topic and it, you're going to use that information in your body paragraph to describe all of the details about that specific mission. So in the boxes, I'm telling you specifically what you need to look for as you're going through all of your research. Okay. The second page um, of your research, you will see um, it's a flow chart. So it's uh, designed like a timeline. Let me pull it up so you can see the whole thing. So you can see the order of events, you know, one, two, three, four. Now, your topics are going to be very broad. Let's say that I gave you the Apollo program. There are lots of different things in the Apollo program that you can choose to focus on for your sequence and order. So you're going to want to determine what it is that your flow chart is describing for me. Um, is it a process that the astronauts had to go through? Was it specific orders of events um, that uh, your maybe your mission went through? So it really just depends on what your topic is and you have the power to, to, to choose on your own what you want your flowchart to be explaining and what you're um, detailing the order of, okay? Your next page are causes and effects. So you can um, find a main event, situation, or cause in your topic. It can be something big or it can be something small and you're telling me what happened as a result of that cause. Okay, so again, these will kind of vary based on what your actual topic is. And you don't have to do a ton. There are three different causes and effects that you are going to find in your research and, um, and put on here. And then problems and solutions. None of your topics happened seamlessly without any type of conflict. Again, your conflict can be something really large or it can be something really small. It can be something that an individual faced um, within your topic or it can be something that a whole spacecraft faced. It really just depends on what your topic is. So you have the power to determine what problems and what solutions are worthy of your paper. And that's really it. That's all that you are going to be going through and doing for, um, for your research on Monday uh, and then um, on Friday as well. On Tuesday, you need to make sure that you have completed your research. So you've got the whole weekend um, as well as Monday night to work on this. Um, 
And so you should be able to, uh, to come to class on Tuesday with your research packet complete. You are handwriting all the information in your research packet. If I were you, I would not write complete sentences. I would write in uh, bullet points, key points, just main ideas, things that you're going to focus on. Um, because when it comes time for you to actually write your paper, remember you do not want to accidentally plagiarize it. On Tuesday, we're going to be looking at uh, the sources that you used, which again are going to be those provided sources sources for you um, and you're going to create your work cited page. That's something that we're going to do together as a class. And then on Wednesday, you're going to move on and begin the actual writing process. Now, remember, you have to write a descriptive paragraph, which is, um, you know, the, the information that's going to be in this first page. And then you have three other text structures to choose from. You only have to do two additional paragraphs. So one of these types of text structures you're not going to use in your actual paper. So I would focus on um, what you could get the strongest information for for your actual paper. Okay. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to start writing. Please don't hesitate to email me on Monday if you have questions or come in for tutoring on Tuesday. I will be back on Tuesday, and so I would love to have the opportunity to help you on, um, on that day if you need anything. I know this is a ton of information, but I wanted to make sure that I covered my bases and um, I gave you all the information that, uh, that you were going to need. All right. Thanks, guys.